So here in our hostel in Santiago, we found these flyers for free walking tours around uh, Santiago, Valparaiso and Vina del Mar, which just so happened to be the three places that we're going to be visiting while we're here in Chile for the next week or so. So I'm super excited to give these a go. We did them in San Pedro and they were really good. So this morning, we, or this afternoon rather, <laughs> we're going to be heading to the 3pm uh, Santiago Highlights walking tour. I don't think I've ever had like a vegan steak before. Darcy. Mila Misal was one of the first Chileans to fight for women's rights. So basically, guys, she was one of the biggest Chileans ever. In 1970, they finished built. In 1971, sorry, they finished this construction. So they named this place to honor the legacy of this woman. And it depicts very well what the country looks like from uh, south to north. This is the symbol of the workers. This is basically representing all the sacrifice, the effort, the time these workers invested while uh, volunteering here. had to pay taxes to Chile. Before that, they didn't have to. They came, they extracted copper, they made a lot of money, but they paid Chile nothing. This square has four different faces and every face has a meaning into Santiago. How do you enjoy the walking tour? It's pretty, pretty good, nice and informative. Mm -hmm. Like a pizza. <laughs> Don't like olives? Missing out. Probably like the most hectic vegan desserts I've ever seen. Is it good? So I'm up somewhat relatively early this morning because we're going to be doing the 10 a.m. Santiago walking tour. So yesterday we did the afternoon one, which was the oh, bug just fell in my eye. <laughs> uh, which was the Santiago highlights tour. And one this morning is the offbeat tour. The city of Santiago has been built historically on this division in between the wealthy and the poor. Now we're gonna leave the wealthy and we're gonna get to see the poor because they're awesome. Are you ready for the fish market, Darcy? I suppose so. I don't know if I can handle it, to be honest. My default answer, I suppose so. Uruguay, Santiago. Yeah. I don't want to look at it. Look how bad it is. It's horrible. Look at the big. 
biggest market of Santiago for a century, and that's the one they open after uh, that gym. Nothing compares to like fresh OJ. Okay. Take it as a park, basically. I know Chilean people, they come over here, they do the drink where they're the ones, they do barbecues where they're the ones. Uh, I've seen families coming with a very big radio machine station, uh, put some very loud reggaeton music, and start drinking very cheap beers on the steps of their mausoleum. So definition, I'd uh, be sad to be about around here. So yesterday afternoon we arrived in Valparaiso and we're going to do one of these walking tours this afternoon. It's just like a red ball, I'm not a big kid. <laughs> Amigos de Valparaíso, a small NGO, went to the UNESCO headquarters in France and they asked for the protection. The officials came here, analyzed the city, and they decided to protect Valparaíso. <laughs> and uh, he's the origin behind the Alphaforas. How are they? So, so, 101 years ago. In 1916, first for an Italian family, the family of Poturino Tanelli, a very wealthy opera singer who committed two Italian architects. Give us a tour of the vlog. Definitely tastes like good. <laughs> walking tour of Valparaiso, which is Valparaiso Offbeat. If you wanted to go to California, but you live in the other side of the states, or even farther in Europe, the easiest way to do so would be to sail down below South America, then up to California. And we were right there in the middle of this journey. So the famous Panama Canal that was opened in the year 1914. Uh, why? Because instead of heading down below South America, you could just go across to the middle of the continent. Cheaper, safer, faster. Nobody else had to come here. And now you can see the results. But price is no longer that important.
does look like a typical prison building, doesn't it? This had various problems. Back then, this was the limit of the city. As I said, a lot of this was just wild forest. the frogs here. It's not easy being green. Watermelon or mm. strawberries maybe? Mm. Some strawberries and some rock melon? Yeah. This one? Yeah. So today we're trying to make our way to Vina Del Mar, which is a little beach town right next to Valparaiso. We asked a girl selling churros what the ingredients were and apparently it's just flour, water and sugar. So we asked for two and we somehow got seven. Fucking Are they good? Like, like weird shaped donuts. <laughs> You've never had churros before? Are you serious? Oh, I think some people are 